Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you how to create an action script so that you can one-click separate line art from your background. This is really useful if you have scanned in line art or if you're downloading line art online and it wasn't saved as a PNG, for example. So the first thing you'll want to do, you'll want to do is uh, get your actions window open. So you can go window actions. It also shows that you can press Alt F9 to get the actions window open. And if you have Photoshop CC, it should appear right down here at the bottom. And you have this list of default actions, but we're going to be creating a new action. So to do that, click on this little uh, square guy and you'll get a new action window. You can name it. I'm going to call this a uh, line art layer. And then you hit record. Okay. So now that's recording, and now every uh, thing you do in Photoshop will be recorded right here. So, af um, and you can start this after you've already cleaned everything up, and this is about as clean as I'm, ha I don't know, I'm happy with how clean it is. So the first thing you want to do is invert the uh, image. So you can do that by hitting Control I, if you're on Apple, that would be Command I, then click every or select it all you can you go to select and then all you can also do control a and then you're going to copy it control or command C you can also do edit copy and then delete it you can hit the delete button make sure it's set to white okay then you can deselect by hitting control or command D then you make a new layer hit this little uh, button down in the corner. You can also go layer, new, layer, or shift, control, N. And then you're gonna wanna add a, a mask to this layer. Before we do that, I'm going to uh, double click on the text on layer one and call this uh, mask. So we're gonna add a mask to this layer. You do that by clicking uh, this little button down here. It looks like a little square a rectangle with a circle cut out in the middle. Click that. Now you have a layer mask. You get this little white box next to your checkerboard. Next, you click on channels. If you don't have the channels window open, you can go to window channels. Click on your channels window and you'll have this uh, additional channel called mask mask. If you didn't name your layer, then it would be layer one mask. You can click on the eyeball to make that layer visible. And now you're going to paste by hitting Control or Command V, then deselect Control or Command D, then go back into your layers. You can click on your uh, your actual layer, not the mask, the little checkerboard pattern. And now you can fill it in. I'm going to just click black, but you can also do any number of colors. You could do pink or blue, whatever you want. And there you go. Now maybe you want to—you don't want to have the line art as this funky mask layer. So if you want it like its own separate line art, where these pixels are their own individual pixels, separate from this masked nonsense, you can create another layer um, above the background. So if you click on the background, then click New Layer again, you get Layer One. I'm going to name this Line Art. Then click on your mask layer, the topmost one, and hit Control or Command E, and that will merge it down. And there you go. Then you are done. Um, if you are having trouble with that hotkey, you can also click on Layer, and then go down to Merge Down. Control E should work though, or Command E. Anyway, once you get to that point, go back into your actions. And um, and then you hit uh, stop, and now you've stopped recording. Uh, so now, if we go back to the beginning, okay. So if we go back to the beginning, and then we click on our actions, and then we click line. Art. So we're back to having it all merged on the background layer. Now, if you do this again with a different line art, or you can do it with this one, whichever you want, you click on line art layer. You hit this play button. It'll go through all of those steps. Bam. Now you've got a separate line art layer.